So dito tayo ngayon sa rectangular coordinate system. So the Cartesian plane named after René Descartes. Sabi pa nga na, René Descartes. Okay, consists of two perpendicular lines. The horizontal line or the x-axis and the vertical line or y-axis. Every point on the plane is defined by the ordered pair x, y. Okay? So, ito yung ating example ng partition plane. Okay. So, procedure in the plotting. Alam naman na natin ito. Okay, pasuhin lang natin. The procedure in the plotting of points is the partition plane. The horizontal line called the x-axis and the vertical line called y-axis which will intersect at a point called the origin. So, ito din tinatawag natin origin. So, ito yung ating origin. Then, these two lines divide the plane into four quadrants named 1, 2, 4. Okay, in clockwise direction beginning from the upper right portion of the plane. So, yung ating Cartesian plane hinahati sa apat. So, ito ay pinangalan ng quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Tanong, kapag ba ang ating angle ay negative na babago ang ating quadrant? Hindi. So, ang ating quadrant, regardless of its of the sign of the angle, mananatili kung ano yung position niya, yun siya. So, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. Fix ang kanilang position. Okay. Use some convenient scale for the x and y coordinates. So, ito yung ating mga coordinates na tinatawag. So, yun yung scale nila. Okay? Dapat, ang mahalaga lang naman dito yung consistency ng ating spacing. Okay? Para kapag ka nag-plot tayo ng points, kapag nag-drop tayo, ay accurate. Okay? So, alam ko marunong na kayo magsipag-plot ng points. At alam ko excited na kayo. In the ordered per x and y, the coordinates called abscissa is the distance of the point from the y-axis. Okay. So, yung point daw, okay, yung distance ng point from the y-axis, so ito yun, yun daw yung tinatawag natin, abscissa. Or, that is the x-coordinate. Okay. And the y-coordinate called the ordinate. Okay. That is the distance of the point from the x-axis. Okay, malinaw sa atin yun. To locate point P, MN, draw a line parallel to Y and at a distance of M from the y-axis. Then, draw a line parallel to X at the distance of N from the x-axis. Okay, the intersection of these lines define the point P, point P, or the coordinates are MN. Okay, mag-plot tayo ngayon. Halimbawa, meron pa-plot natin itong 2, 3. So, bilang lang tayo. So, ito ay x, di ba? x and y. So, yung x daw natin ay 2. So, ito ngayon tayo. Mag-draw ko lang ngayon ng line okay, na parallel sa y axis. Then, 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, ito. Magdodraw ko ngayon ng line na parallel sa x-axis. So, ang kalalabasan, yun. Ito yung line na parallel sa y. Ito yung line na parallel sa x-axis. Kung saan daw sila mag-intersect, yun yung ating point. So, ito yung ating point, 2, 3. So, ito siya. Okay. Same lang din ang gagawin sa negative 3, 4. So, negative 3. So, ito. At... 4. So, yun. Draw lang tayo ulit ng parallel line sa x and y axis. So, yun. Kung saan nag-intersect, ito siya. Yun ang ating point negative 3 4. Okay. So, ngayon, magbun na tayo sa pagpa-plot ng other basic. So, distance formula. If a point on the plane is defined by the ordered pair x, y, then, the distance between the points P1 and P2 can be determined using the equation P1 to P2 equals square root of quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, yung nasa inyong module, may type ko lang ng konti. y sub 1 yun, hindi yun y sub 2. Okay? 
So, this is what we call the distance formula. Alam na, alam na natin to. Gas-gas na ng formula na to ng high school pa. So, kung napapansin siya ay hawig sa Pythagorean theorem. Dahil doon naman siya kasi na derive. Hindi ko na na derive Alam ko, na-derive na sa inyo yan. Very basic. Okay, alimbawa, meron tayong dalawang points. Okay? So, ayan, pinlat natin siya. Ano ba yung distance na hinahanap natin? So, itong yellow line ngayon na to, ito yung distance na pinukuha natin. The shortest distance between the two point. Okay? Yun yung pinukuha natin. Tapos, bakit pwede natin itong gamitan ng uh, bakit nasabing galing sa Pythagorean Chorem? Okay? Pansinin natin, ha? So, itong green line na to, at green line na to, okay, kapag nag-project tayo ng lines, okay, so, ito kasing line, ah, mula dito sa point natin, pag pinroject natin itong line na to dito, okay, makukuha natin itong line na ito. So, ito. Doon natin siya nakuha. Okay? At kapag ka naman nag-project tayo ng line, okay, so, itong line na to, Itong line na to, okay, pansin. Pag pinreject natin dito, mabubuo natin yung line na ito. Okay. Kung napapansin natin, nakakabuo tayo ng right triangle. Okay? So, alam natin kapag uh, mayroon dalawang points, magsusubtract lang tayo para makuha natin. Bawa, itong dalawa. So, itong, points na to, itong point na to at itong point na to. Para makuha natin itong side na to, ibabawas lang natin syempre itong length ng side na to dito. Okay? So, yan ay lumalabas na 4 minus 3. So, dahil yung y natin na mas mataas, wa, uh, 4 tapos yung mas mababa, 3. Okay? So, kung na-imagine nyo na medyo hawig na siya sa or ang pinupuntahan niya ay yung ating distance formula nga. Okay? Hindi ko nabubuhay niyo yung pag-derive sa kanya. Alam ko, alam niyo na yan. So, punta ngayon tayo dito sa ating uh, makabigay pala agad. Ano? Dito sa ating distance formula. So, solving for the distance of P1 to P2. Okay? So, P1 as the, okay, negative 3, 4 as the P1 and 2, 3, P2. So, X sub 1, Y sub 1, X sub 2, Y sub 2. Okay. Gamit ang ating distance formula. Okay. So, yan yan. Tatandaan natin. Kung napansin nyo, para lang siyang Pythagorean theorem nga, di ba? Ayos ba? Okay. So, substitute lang natin yung points. Okay. So, X sub 2 natin. So, meron tayong 2. So, yun x sub 1, negative 3. So, nilagyan muna natin ng parenthesis. Okay, so negative 3. Squared plus y sub 2 natin ay 3. Minus y sub 1, 4. Okay, squared. So, yung nasa parenthesis, ilalabas lang natin. So, negative times negative, positive. Okay? Pag malilito kung ba't naging positive yun. So, squared plus 3 minus 4. Wala tayong parenthesis dito sa loob. Kaya, same lang. Okay? Simplifying now, 2 plus 3, we have 5. And 3 minus 4, we have negative 1. Squaring now 5 and negative 1, we have 5 plus 1. Okay? Getting the sum of 25 and 1, we have 26. So, square root of 26 uni units. Okay? So, ito ang ating distance between... Point 0.1 and point 0.2. So, 26 units. Uh, square root of 26 units. So, kung kaya mong palitin, uh, simplify pa, okay lang mo na problema. Pero tingin ko, sagad na to. Without using a calculator, ha? So, square root of 26 units. So, another example, 6, 2, and 3, 7. Okay. Ito, so, medyo pangit lang yung drawing, ano? Ayan siya, pagka-pinlat natin, ano? So, pansinin, ha? Okay, using now the uh, distance formula, distance pa rin to, kaso 
D lang ginamit ko ano, hindi P1, P2. Okay? So x sub 1, y sub 1, 6 2, so x sub 2, y sub 2, okay? So substituting the values, okay, x sub 2, 3. X sub 1 is 6. Then y sub 2 is 7 and y sub 1 is 2. Now okay, simplifying now, we have neg negative 3 squared plus 5 squared, okay? Simplifying that, we have 9 plus 25. So we have square root of 34 unit, uh, square root of 34 units. Tatandaan, kahit walang unit yung mga points natin, okay, wala siyang unit. So ito ay distance or length. So meron siya dapat nakalagay na indicate na units. Okay. So ito naman, without plotting the points. So we have point 1 and we have point 2. So, what is the distance between them? So, ito ngayon yung ating x sub 1 ta. Mga linaw ah. Y sub 1. X sub 2. Y sub 2. Okay. So, using the distance formula again. Substituting now the values. So, x sub 2 is equal to 3. X sub 1 is negative 5. So, negative times negative magiging positive. Malinaw sana sa atin yun. So, y sub 2 natin ay negative 6 minus 2. Okay? So, simplify. We have 8 squared plus negative 8 squared. So, we have 64 plus square root of 64 plus 64. So, factoring this, we have square root of 2 times 64. Okay? Malinaw yan, ha? Meron tayong dalawa 64. Ginawa lang natin 2 times 64 para madali siyang ilabas sa radical. Okay? So, pinaghiwalay natin